Welcome everyone, my name is Josh, and this is Get Bricked. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different. Uh, recently I put in an order on Wish, and while I was looking on there I came across some of the different Lego sets and knockoff sets that are available, and I figured why not bite the bullet and pick up a couple of the sets, so I did add some to the order. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the first set. This one claims to be Dragon Ball Gohan's House. Now, I'm assuming this means Grandpa Gohan, as that's one of the characters from the original Dragon Ball show. And, taking a look online, uh, the pictures on here, if you can see it through the plastic, it doesn't quite line up with the look of the anime or the manga. But, I'm curious to see if it's just uh, something with a little bit more detail, because someone wanted to add something. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any information online if this was an existing set, or a remake of a set, or if it was just like, someone's custom build. But, we're going to be taking a look at that and see how it comes together. So, let's dive right on in.
Here we have Gohan's house from Dragon Ball. Now this is the completed set. Uh, this is a set I managed to pick up on Wish for only around $20, $30. And it's nicely detailed overall for, a, for this kind of a set, especially with this size. And according to the booklet, it includes over 445 pieces. The first thing you'll notice is that the minifigures that they decided to include are interesting because they did not include Gohan or Grandpa Gohan as a minifigure. They included Master Roshi, and uh, as far as I know, this is not his house. But they included him as well as a nice representation of Goku in his uh, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan form, rocking the blue hair. So let's move it in close so we can check out some of the details. First up, we'll take a look at the minifigures, starting with Master Roshi. Now, Master Roshi includes very, very nice detailing on the, to the torso uh, with the orange and the creasing that they've added in there. You can see a little bit of the detailing behind the beard. Just uh, the, the small, posable purple legs, though, with a little bit of black on the front of the foot, uh, just to indicate that he's wearing shoes. They did include a nice representation of his beard, as well as the staff that he's usually sporting in the beginning of the show. They also do have him wearing a turtle shell, like you see him in the manga and in the anime. Uh, this one in purple. And the overall look that the turtle shell gives to him definitely makes it uh, stand out more as a, a decent Master Roshi now, I do like the overall look of Master Roshi with the way that everything comes together, especially with the shell and the staff and the beard. Definitely, all three of those definitely bring the character together. Now, if I had to pick a downside, it would probably be the side of the neck, just like what they showed on the uh, the Santa figure from the advent calendar that I reviewed recently. It just extends the neck and makes it a little bit too long, but that's my only complaint, really. Overall, he looks really nice. The other minifigure that you get with this set is Goku himself. Uh, but he is rocking his blue hair from his Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan form. Now, Goku is rocking his standard blue and orange gi, nicely detailed both on the front, back, and sides, including uh, the print extending all the way around, and even extending onto the arms itself to give it a little bit of muscle tone. They do include a staff weapon. It's probably just a representation of his power pole, but it's done in a different color, uh, not like the normal one, which was more red, whereas this is more of a gold color. They do have a nice hairpiece with the way that they've represented his Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan form. It's just uh, interesting that they decided to include that form with this set. Because as far as I know, he's never visited Gohan's house while he has that form available to him. Uh, if it's happened in the manga, let me know in the comments down below, but I've never seen it myself. In a way, I'm slightly disappointed that they did not include Goku with just his standard black hair, just to kind of match the overall feel of the set. And with both of the figures, of course, neither of them have a alternate print on the back of the head, just the one face for each of them. But with Goku, you do get the eyebrows matching uh, closely to the way that the hair looks. So it comes together really nicely. Moving on, we'll take a look at the training area first, which does have a decent amount of detailing with the way that they've included the training stage there, as well as some of the training equipment and the weapons rack that's behind there. And the overall look of this area with the, the rocks and slash mountain in the background, as well as the tree on the side, it definitely makes the overall look of that area kind of peaceful for training and uh, a nice setup area for when you want to train. So the tree itself is really well done with the way that they've incorporated some of the Technic pieces to build the tree itself. And the layering with the multiple colors, it definitely makes the tree look nice overall. And it is a little bit poseable, so you can kind of move it around and, and situate it how you want to. If we move up to the top of the mountain, you'll be able to see a nice bird that's been perched up there, kind of making it look like it's swooping down. And it looks mostly like it's a cross between like a falcon and an eagle. Uh, but it, it's a nice uh, figure that they decided to include just to add a little bit of extra detail. And they do include a banner there with the, the lettering on it, which really looks nice because it looks like it's almost hand done. Like it was made by the by Gohan and put up there himself. Now the banner is attached to one of the two posts uh, holding up the lanterns behind the house uh, itself, which do look really nice. Uh, I like the way that they were built and the way that they uh, look on the, the kind of like the string piece there and the way that they uh, connect on there. On the other side of the set, you get this little seated area, which does look really nice the way that it came together, uh, but it does look like it would be difficult to fit the minifigures around that little table. 
And finally, that brings us to the house itself, which overall is nicely detailed and it does have a lot of different color use to bring it together and make it look good, but making it so that like some of those parts of it still pop out really nicely. Now, I'm a huge fan of the way that the roof comes together and looks for the house itself uh, with the way that they've used like the blue two by two axle pieces to kind of make it come together as a more of a stylized kind of roof especially with the red there on top. And I like the way that they've detailed it with the gray pieces running down each of the corners attached to the lamps that are there. And the, the red piece there dangling off the bottom of each of the lamps uh, looks really nice, like a fabric piece that's just been hung off of the bottom of the lanterns. Now the house itself does look really nice with the way they've combined the brick and wood look to it. Uh, the bricks uh, with, with both printed pieces and textured pieces, uh, making it stand out a little bit more as it switches between the two. And also the wood framing, it looks like, uh, on each of the corners does, does make it look really nice. And I love the way that they've done the archway for the door, but it does look really nice with the, the added detail that they've included in there. And as well, you have these stands on the sides. Uh, interestingly enough, though, the, the two small pieces that each side is holding, they were connected uh, to like just a small piece of plastic, uh, probably because of the fact that they're so small and you wouldn't want those to get damaged in transport. But it's nice that they took the time to consider that and uh, they did pop out pretty easily and attach really nicely on there. So they feel very secure. Moving into the inside of the house, it does look really nice. And as you can see, the door does open and function, which is a nice feature that they decided to add, especially with the set being so small on the interior there. But the overall look on the inside is really nice with the seated area, as well as the table with what looks like a drink there. As well, they included a weapon rack with a couple swords and a, a staff, as well as a javelin. Now, the two downsides for the interior that I feel that they could they kind of missed out on is that the table does not include uh, a space for the Dragon Ball to rest. And they did not include any Dragon Ball either. Uh, it would have been nice to see them include the four star Dragon Ball, seeing as how it is supposed to be Grandpa Gohan's house. And the other downside is that they did not include a back for the building itself, which is a bit of a shame because I wish they would have included at least the option of being able to close it off, especially if you're looking to display it without the side panel there. It's just a shame that they didn't include that as an option. The mountain, I can understand why they may not have included that, but it's just, it's unfortunate they didn't, did not include that for the house itself. Now, taking a look at the overall set itself, you'll notice that they did include a fair amount of plants just kind of around the outside of it just to fill in and uh, add a little bit of extra detailing to the surrounding area. And if you look down the middle, you'll be able to see the flowers uh, with the stands that they're on, which are actually what hold the two base plates together. Uh, it's interesting they decided to go that route with just a couple of connecting points. Uh, it's not, not really a concern because of the fact that if you have it just sitting on, the, on a shelf, it does, it does hold together really nicely, so there's not really a concern there. It's just more of a concern if you're looking to move it around, because the, the panels could basically just disconnect from each other pretty easily. So that is the completed set for Gohan's house from Dragon Ball as part of my wish order. Now, I'm overall not too disappointed in the way that the set looks, uh, the way they've added the different detailing. Uh, it looks very similar to the way that it looked when I was making the order. And I was very happy to notice that they did not miss any pieces. We're not missing anything, at least from the build. Uh, and they did include a small collection of additional pieces should you need replacements for some of the smaller pieces. But overall, it, it did come together really nicely and I love the look of the set itself. I think if I had to pick a downside, uh, just the fact that there's no back to the building itself and the fact that they did not include Grandpa Gohan as a minifigure, which would have been nice to see, seeing as how it's supposed to be his house. Uh, and also the lack of the four-star Dragon Ball inside the house is also a slight disappointment. But overall, for, for a set that was only $20 to $30, uh, this is a nice representation of Gohan's house, even if it's not exactly show accurate. But let me know in the comments down below, what was your favorite part of this set? Uh, is there any changes you'd love to see made with this set? And be sure to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can stay updated whenever we release new videos. Now, before your next sparring match at Grandpa's house, just be sure to tell him that you just got bricked.